and welcome to this nature documentary. In this episode, we shall be looking for the elusive Clementine, a unique animal found only Clementine, in the most dangerous in situations. Where is she? We used to have one, but it has disappeared from our view. I'll have time to rest later. They have little in the way of defensive mechanisms and plans. But their Clementine? big wide eyes set you up for an emotional attachment to their so-called small outlook on life. Ah, as you can see, we have found one of the Clementine's elusive drawings. Those drawings? But where is she? Apparently, she thinks black men dig dead bodies. Yeah, that's gonna be an that's gonna be enough of that. <laughs> Do we just look at it? yeah, it's just the same picture. It kinda looks like he's in front of a goalpost. Clem, you in here? She's not gonna be in a cabinet. I just wanted to look inside. Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either though. Doesn't look like she's in here. Right then. We'll have a few more look arounds upstairs, see if she's in Clementine, the bathroom. Clementine, you here? Hello? Clem? Nope. Is she in the sink? You got time for that. No, she's not. Hello? Hello? Oh, Molly, I. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Okay. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay then. Things are getting kind of serious because you know she's missing. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. <laughs> I don't care about no boxes. Let's go check downstairs then. If that's where she was. She wouldn't be Clem? in the attic. She can't even reach Clementine? that. Clementine. She can't even reach the wire. Guys. Clementine. Come out, please! Hey, you two, you seen Clementine? Kenny? Oh, Kenny. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Getting drunk. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! You can't just give up just because one plan Molly didn't work. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Do it, Ben. Hey, either of you seen Clementine now? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. Okay. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Oh, God. I don't, I don't think I've actually seen that thing before. Bedside Clementine? Tomorrow. Clementine! Crap. Where is she? Uh, is she in the shed? 
we haven't really checked in there. Right. Don't think anyone came in through there. Okay. Uh, are you in the doghouse? Told you not to go wander off yet. You did it again. All right, it's a boat. Nine M two. This was here the whole time. I know, right? Yeah. Drop that bottle. A bottle wouldn't roll around that much, would it? Especially if it's filled with liquid. It'll kind of just go and cook, you know, fall on its side. How's he doing? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Huh. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Hmm. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We There's got to in. be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There we'll stop here in the next episode. We shall be thinking of a plan to get stuff from there. Crawford people.